Hey guys and welcome back to our journey of completing every single Codemasters career mode. That's essentially what this is going to turn out to be. And when I say complete, I mean win the championship. This is the 2009 season, round 16 of the year. So this is the second to last race of the year. And we need to win this world championship because I really cannot face doing another full season on this game. These are the standings going into this one. We took the championship lead last time out with a brilliant victory at Suzuka. It was a crazy race. If you've not seen that one, go back and check that one out. But we now lead the championship ahead of Button and his Braun teammate Barrichello. Don't ask me why I'm wearing a Braun hat. It's the only hat I have that's Formula 1 related. Uh, so basically, I'm wearing the enemy's hat. We are BMW Sauber. We are very close to this championship. We could technically win the championship today. Make sure to get subscribed to the channel if you're not already subscribed. We're going to try and hit 7,500 subs before the end of 2023. So let's make that happen. So the next round is the Brazilian Grand Prix at Interlagos. And for those who know me, you'll know that Interlagos is my favourite track in the world. And wouldn't that just be fitting to win the world championship at my favourite circuit? Tyres should hold on here, I think. I'm going to go with how many laps is the race? I think the lap uh, the race is 35 laps. So if we go um, pit lap 13 on the hards, then go all the way to lap 26 on the hards, and then there are nine laps stint at the end on the softs, that could work. I think it's very, very important we get a good result here because Abu Dhabi could be a tricky one on the tyres. The track surface here at Sao Paulo has several peaks and troughs and numerous bumps which will catch you out if you're not careful. There are a handful of high-speed turns and a lengthy straight, which all add to the complexity of the circuit. Who writes this guy's script? Button Barrichello, Braun GP 1-2 on the grid. Uh, Hamilton down in 10th alongside his best mate Alonso. And we are lining up all the way down in 16th place. Ahead of my teammate Kibitza, though. Let's get racing. Here we are on the grid. Those are the lights. Get this race underway, shall we? Lights are off. And we're underway here in Brazil. Down towards the first corner. Kibitz has got the outside line. He's going to take a position away from me. But we dive back up the inside into turn one. I think I'm side by side there with Fisichella. I got that position up to 14th already. This is good work. Kovalainen on the soft tyres. We're going to try and slipstream him down the retroposta towards turn four. And they're all lifting off. So I'll take advantage and jump up the inside of a couple of them. Maybe Buemi as well. That would be 11th place. Next up, Lewis Hamilton, who's stationary in 10th place. Alonso started in 9th. I think he's already up to 6th place. Great start from Fernando Alonso. We can look to the inside of Hamilton here. Into, I believe that's turn 7? Turn 6? Turn 7? It's at that stage of the season where we really cannot take any prisoners. We just have to go for it. 100%. Slipstream is our best friend here. Jano Trulli in 9th place currently. But not for long. Here comes early to the inside. And that's another position. Up to the inside of Raikkonen here. And his teammate Massa at his home Grand Prix. Massa, of course, lost out on the championship here last year in dramatic circumstances. I'm sure you all remember. So, two laps down. We're already into the points in seventh place. We need to finish ahead of Button here. I really need some sort of gap between me and him in the championship going into that final round at Abu Dhabi. Because I do have a feeling it will be a very tough race. If we win the race here today and Button fails to score points, we will be the champion. Right, that was a tough lap. We're not closing to Alonso right now, so we need to step step it up a bit. Much better this time around, and we're very close to Alonso. We might have a run here up the hill across the start-finish line to end lap four. The leaders, I think they're all in the big train, the top five. We've got a great run here on Alonso. That should be an easy move, and it is. So we're up into sixth place. It's still a Braun GP 1-2. I can just see them up the road. Uh, but the good news is... They're not running away with it. They're, they're literally just on this same straight as me. About three, four seconds ahead. ahead. Car just didn't slow there. And I've gone wide. Very strange. Okay, Rosberg's out of the race. I don't know if he's ahead of me or... I, I thought he was the guy in fourth place just ahead. He might still be that guy. It is. There's Rosberg. He's holding Weber up. Rosberg out of the race. He'll be peeling into the pits. Let's see if we can just overtake both of them here. And we can. Brilliant. Heike Kovalainen out as well, but he's miles behind me. So we're up to fourth place now. Vettel, Barrichello, Button, the top three. We do have a bit of a mountain to climb, though, because the top three are now five seconds up the road. They've suddenly stepped on the, the throttle a bit more, picked up the pace. And Button's in the pits. Jensen Button into the pits. So we've gained a place. Button pitting on lap eight. Does that mean he's on a three-stop strategy? Possibly. We're up to third place. And that's Barrichello into the pits. So I think we're now up to second place. 
And we are Vettel in the lead early in second. Raikkonen has just retired. They're dropping like flies today. We don't often get this many retirements in, in a race in this game. We need to do three more laps on these tyres. You can see on the left-hand side the, the wear rates. They look okay. I think they can easily do three more laps. I'll tell you what though, Vettel is setting the pace up front. He must be on a very similar strategy to me. He's still five seconds in the lead. So I think it could be Sebastian Vettel's day here. So we're boxing this lap. Vettel's just been in. We've taken the race lead. So Vettel going to lap 12. I'm going to lap 13. It all seems to be going according to plan right now. Into the pits we go then. Need to make sure I don't speed where, wherever the pit lane line is. I think it's here. That feels like a nice entrance to the pits. Weber takes the lead. He's staying out another lap. Mark Weber is going maybe for a one stop, I think, in this one. I can see Barrichello and Vettel coming down the main straight now. And they'll be followed by Button and the rest of them. So I'm going to lose out there because of our slow pit stop. Uh, we will rejoin, though. Down in the back end of the points is seventh place. In fact, we're almost side by side with Bourdais. He's into seventh. I'm down to eighth place. We need to clear the Toro Rosso quick. Oh, I've hit him. This should be a move we can make up this main straight with the slipstream. We're already closing towards the back of the Toro Rosso. He's done well to stay in the points for so long. We move past into seventh place. Button into the pits again. He's definitely on a three stop. That's crazy. He's pit on lap 16. So Button will fall down the order. I'm up to sixth now. Barrichello into the pits alongside one other driver. So we're going to gain a few more positions here. Weber was into the pits. Okay, so we're up to fourth place. There's Weber rejoining right behind me. He's on a one-stop strategy. So who knows? Maybe Weber is favourite for victory. And there goes Buemi into the pits, as well as Glock. We're up to second, I think. We are. So Vettel in the lead, miles ahead. We're in second. Weber up to third. And the Brawns, I think, are down at the back end of the points. I know this game gets a lot of hate, and I was one of those haters for many years until I really went back and played the game again in this series. It, it doesn't handle bad. I know it looks stupid and the car skates around like it's on ice, but compared to some of like the PS2 games I've been playing, this isn't bad at all. It's good enough that it works with 50% races. I've not done 100% races, but 50% races throughout this whole season, I'm sure you'll agree that we've had some exciting races, exciting battles, differences in pitch strategies it's been entertaining now if we're going to discuss the good parts i may as well discuss the bad parts the penalty system very messed up i think we've got penalties on reduced and just look back at what happened in japan with the drive throughs it's it's touch and go whether or not that's acceptable i i'd say no it's not acceptable in the game to have penalties that severe the car damage system should be more severe i'd say i know it's an arcade game but throwing it in the wall you'd expect you can you know wipe your car out tires flying off but the most you can do is lose a front wing and get rear wing damage that's not visible just just physical i suppose the quality of the circuits leave a lot to be desired i'm thinking this interlagos circuit it looks you can tell it's interlagos but some of the corners the undulation the, the change in altitude is very strange and I think that's a lost art. And nowadays, with newer games, you're obviously going to have laser scan tracks, which are almost true to life in how accurate they are. But back in the day, think about the 2000s or the 90s or whenever you're thinking, just before laser scan circuits were a thing. Every developer had to just almost guess. They'd have onboard footage. Maybe they'd go and take pictures of the circuit and then just craft their own version of a circuit. And it can be completely different from another game at a similar time and a point in time you'd have let's say two versions of interlagos with that previous corner being completely different in both versions because the developers have just gone a different direction with how they interpreted the track oh we've took to the grass bit of oversteer on the previous corner and you know what Weber's is right behind me here he's on that one stop i still need to pit one more time i think Weber is nailed on favorite for this victory today He's technically still in the championship fight, I think. We'll have to check the championship standings after this race. But if Mark Webber wins here today, he could be an outside shot at the victory in the championship. He's got a run on me here. I don't think he's going to... Oh, we got a puncture! No! As we've gone across the start-finish line, we've got a puncture. The tyres aren't even in bad condition. Oh, that's a disaster. If Oh, no. If we lose the championship because of something like this... 
We've got to go around the whole circuit to get back into the pits. It went pop as we crossed the start finish line. As you can see from the other three tyres, they're not in bad condition. It's just luck of the draw and it's been such a long time since we've got a puncture. And now it's going to put me on soft tyres and fuel me to the end. But I don't think the soft tyres will be able to do 11 laps. Vettel pit on the previous lap as well, so I'm in the race lead right now. But we are diving into the pits. Oh, I can't believe that's happened. I cannot believe that's happened. Weber's going to take the race lead. Into the pits we go. For the second, hopefully, final time in this race. There's a Braun coming in in the background, and it's Button. So, Button, this is the lap he's pitting. He's holding me up in the pits. We're still ahead of Jensen Button. He's making his final stop. I need to be so cautious on these tyres to get them to 11 laps. The hards, I think, realistically could have done 15 laps. Ignoring the puncture, of course. Can these softs do 11 laps? I'm just going to take it so easy on the exit of these corners just to avoid having to do another pit stop later on. Barrichello's just been into the pits, so we've gained yet another place. That's sixth place. Just finishing ahead of the Brawns here, I think we could call that a success. I just wanted a bigger buffer going into the final round. In that middle sector, I'll be losing time, I think, to my rivals. I'm just taking it very easy. The Toyota Viano trolley has been closing in for the past couple of laps. But we are actually steadily closing in on Buemi, who I think needs to make another pit stop. If not, I think we can get him on circuit. And we've got a run on Buemi. To the outside we go. And I think we've cleared him. We're ahead into top five. Six laps to go. Tyres are already starting to go to that yellow stage. This is going to be so tough to get them to the end of the race. Earlier on in the race, I said, so, so far so good. Knowing that something would go wrong. And something had to go wrong. It's not, no, nowhere near as simple as just finishing the race, scoring more points than my opposition, and winning the championship. Something always has to go wrong. As we cross the line, we have three laps to go. The tyres are greeny, yellow. This has been tough. I've been managing them really, really well. There's two cars in front of me. This is the battle for the podium place. And they're slowing down because there's a lapped car. And it's my teammate. Thank you, Kibitza. Oh, contact. So we've gained one position, two laps to go, and now we have a run on Timo Glock for third place. A podium will go down very well here after the tribulations and trials we've had to go through to achieve it to the inside of turn four. He breaks later. I don't have the confidence on the brakes with the tyres in the current conditions. And it's all kicking off now. All kicking off. One and a half laps to go. Can I get to the inside on the Toyota? No. We've had lots of experience with Toyota in our F1 Challenge Series. Almost winning the championship in 2005, of course. I think I can get past him here. The tyres seem okay. I think they can do one more decent lap. This is our chance here. On Glock. Side by side up the hill. Still side by side. He's on the outside line. And we've taken the position. We're ahead. We're up into third place. Vettel in second. Weber in the lead. And it's the last lap of the race. Well, maybe third was the best we could have achieved today. I'm happy either way because Button is... I don't know where he is. Maybe at the back end of the point. But we're going to come up to the line and cross it to claim yet another podium and extend our championship lead. Button only seventh. Only seventh for Jensen Button. Mark Webber wins the race. Vettel second. Nobody was stopping Red Bull today. Barrichello failing to score. Barrichello is now out of the championship fight. Three retirements. And thank you, Robert Kubica, for holding up my rivals very late on in the day. So one race to go, and it's down to the top two. Early and Button, separated by five points. It's in my side of the court, if that's the saying. It's my championship to lose. We just need a decent result. If we get a top four, we've guaranteed a championship in Abu Dhabi. But I have a feeling it's going to be a very tough race. It's still technically not wrapped up between Braun and Red Bull in the Constructors' Championship. Of course, Sauber, we cannot win the championship. But we've got that third place now down now. Braun and Red Bull going into the final race of the season. Both with a shot at the championship. It wasn't as easy as it should have been. It should have been an easy, maybe second place, third place but it was a tough, tough race with that puncture late on. And then managing those soft tyres all the way to the checkered flag on lap 35. And we managed to just snatch that podium place away 
from our rivals. If you did enjoy that, make sure to give this video a like. Comment down below who you think is going to win the championship. Is it going to be me or is it going to be Jensen Button? Let me know down in the comments below. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.